Hello everyone. My name is Nitin. I am working in a process engineering field. Today's video is regarding the steam calculation for a given batch process or for given duty or for given flow rate. Okay. So uh, we will go to the next slide. So basically steam calculations are required in any field to calculate the amount of steam required. So important formulas in the steam calculation are as below. Heat loss by anything is equal to heat gain by another fluid or another product. So here we can see few example. Let's say I want to heat cold water from 4 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius which is hot water by using steam at 143 degrees Celsius. 143 degrees Celsius is nothing but it is a steam temperature at 3.5 bar gauge pressure. Okay. When the steam passes through any heat exchanger, it will get converted to the condensate. Condensate is a liquid form of water or steam. So we will see how to calculate the steam requirements stepwise. So first is the heat load that is Q. What is heat load? Heat load means the heat amount. Uh, it is a total quantity of energy. Let's see how to calculate. M is the mass into Cp into delta T. Let's see what is M. M is the mass of product or batch in kg. Then Cp means specific heat. Okay. Then delta T is the temperature difference. Like uh, 50 degree minus 4 degree. It is my delta T. So 46 degree is the delta T. Then again, it is a heat loss by the steam media. So how to calculate the heat load in steam side? So heat load at steam side is equal to M lambda. Lambda is the latent heat and M is the mass. So in below diagram, you can see the perfect picture of the heat transfer. LO indicates the cold fluid. It while it going to the one end to another end, it get warm and the hot fluid means that is steam it get converted to the cold that is condensed. So this is a basic formulas. We will see how to do the exact calculation in a next slide. In next slide, here is one example steam calculation example. Let's see. I want to heat 100 kg per hour cold water from 4 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius by using steam at 143 degrees Celsius. Okay. So heat water from 4 degree to 50 degrees Celsius. Therefore heat gain by water is equal to that is heat load from at water side is equal to M Cp delta T. What is M? M is the mass that is 10,000 into 1. What is M? It is a Cp of specific heat of water that is 1 kilo calories. Then temperature difference is 50 degree minus 4 degree. So total heat load at water side is equal to 46000 kilo calories. So what is the heat loss by the steam? Heat loss by the steam is equal to M lambda. What is lambda? How you calculate this lambda? So latent heat of the steam at 3.5 bar pressure is 506 kilo calories per kg. So from where you get this figure? So from steam table, we will get these figures. Normally in, in industry, we use low pressure steam at 3.5 bar gauge. So therefore, what uh, the kilo calories is 506 kilo calories per kg. So you know, you, you all know heat loss is equal to heat gain. So you have to balance it 
and finally you will get the mass flow rate of the steam that is one not sorry 910 kgs per hour so thank you for watching this video the for the i will upload this calculation sheet uh, in a description you can download from the description the link is given in a description so you will get two calculation sheet there steam calculation as well as the steam table okay thank you